Good morning, Mrs. Smith. Good morning. Thank, thank you for your time today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, for our time today, I suggest that we confirm uh, your objectives in relation to your communication needs. So, kind of what we talked about. Your network is a growth limiter. So, based on previous conversations we've had, we've, we've had my understanding that you have some current priorities. We talked about some objectives, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Those objectives are first, we talked about having an off site backup, right? We also talked about having a DR plan, a disaster recovery plan, which really coincides with your offsite backup. And we also talked about your infrastructure. So, does that look right? Mm -hmm. Is that the objectives that we're going to concentrate on? <clears throat> well, working with similar companies, we've noticed they find themselves dealing with increasing demands on their network. And in that case, this is kind of what happens. We have the company, the employees, and the customers basically making up a lot of the things in our network that would actually put a demand on our network. All those things are impacting us from the standpoint of our computer network. Mm -hmm. If we look at our current state, our pipe, so this represents your network at current state. There's certain things that we got to concentrate on. So let's see what happens if we make a change. Okay. So what would you consider the most urgent of your objectives? Um, maybe infrastructure. Okay. So here's some reasons why if you delay what you're thinking about doing could impact you. So let's look at some of the reasons why we want to say why now. Okay. Because first of all, it could be revenue impacting, right? Mm -hmm. It could also be that you don't have a disaster recovery plan. Uh, that puts you at risk. So, <clears throat> we'll say risk, right? Mm -hmm. in, a, in addition, do you have business continuity because of this? Um, no. So, we'll say we need, to, we need to create business continuity. <clears throat> With your current state, don't know that we can get there because if we look at the current state, we're underestimating the need based on our existing infrastructure. We're also limiting bandwidth. We have a limited bandwidth. As you can see, based on our discussion and 
so we want to address those things. We have a limited bandwidth to achieve, to achieve our objective. And we also have been kind of reactive in our, our, in our infrastructure build. So we, you know, so I'm looking at giving you a plan. So current stages we're being a little bit reactive. More or less a break fix type situation. We address it when it pops up, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so let's look at, see what happens uh, if we didn't have these network limitations, okay? And um, what, what it would look like. So basically we determine that right now we can't really get there with your current situation, right? <clears throat> but if we had a much bigger pipe, all of a sudden, all your initiatives are achievable. Mm -hmm. Some of the things we've talked about, right? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> here's how we can do that for you. Spectrum Business We're not just number one. <laughs> we've, we've got one team. <clears throat> what that means is you get a group of folks, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm your representative for, for helping you with decision making and, buy, and buying and consulting you. In addition, I have sales engineers that can dive deep with your IT folks. I have what they call a MAR. It's, an, it's a major accounts representative that can help you after the sale. And you have a lot of people involved. So it makes a huge difference to have, have that team. The other thing that we have <clears throat> is one number. Well, what that means to you is that when you do have an issue, you call our network operations center and you're talking directly to someone that can help you. Unlike a lot of our competitors, you're calling a phone tree. You're waiting. You're not sure what's going to happen. With us, you do have that peace of mind. The other thing that you get with us is one network. What that means is with one network, it's solely owned by charter. Mm -hmm. We don't third party our circuits, which means that it's end to end, charter owned. Solely own network. That's a, that means a great deal to you because <clears throat> nine times out of ten, the local carrier is just reselling their services to a third party person. So this at least gives you choices to be on a different network. So, with that being said, based on these areas, do you see some opportunities for us to help you? Absolutely. Great. So, Here's what I'm here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look at some of our clients. We've got some similar clients in the area. I want to just talk about one right now. We had a small business that had a um, situation where they went out and they bought a, a backup system. And then they started being really concerned about how their employees the, the, the network was lagging and they couldn't, the productivity was going down. So we approached them and we were able to upgrade them to a fiber internet service with the bandwidth needs they require. Absolutely, they can run their backups now without impact, impacting productivity. So it's, it's became a real huge success for them. <clears throat> so we had another client in a similar situation that had a <clears throat> that had a uh, system that the infrastructure was really old. They were operating on an old DSL line. Uh, they continued to grow. Uh, they they addressed it maybe with a, a T1, but they continued to grow and continued to grow. And eventually, they ran into a situation where they needed more and more bandwidth. So, with our help, they were able to achieve that. And we were 
crucial in making sure that they have the bandwidth they need to operate their business. So, based on my experience working with other executives like yourself, I like to re recommend a few next steps. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So the first thing we want to do is some discovery. So would you be willing to sponsor us with your IT department to do that discovery? Sure. Okay. next thing we want to do is recommend some solutions. So that will come from the discovery, right? Mm -hmm. And last thing we want to do is once we get all this information together, is have a review meeting. So we want to come back to you and your team and give you a plan. So you can meet these objectives and go through your initiatives. Okay. How does that sound? This sounds great. Perfect. So. so we'll go ahead and look at all this. Your next steps are discovery. We'll recommend the solution and then we'll do the review meeting. Very good. All right. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.